welcome back, everybody. It's time again for another episode of Living Hope, a weekly journey designed to provide hope, inspiration, and education for those living with pancreatic cancer. Sharing the real-life stories of those really affected and how they deal with it on a daily basis. With your host... She knows the most about dealing with it. Been doing it for 19 plus years. Roberta Luna. Hey, Roberta. Hey, Paul. How are you? I'm good. Today you got a special guest with you. I don't know how you got this guy's really important. <laughs> we got the chairman of the board in here today. Here. Oh, I don't know. She tells me go. I just ask where and how far. And here we are. <laughs> we have your husband in here. And I, lo- I have to laugh because on his shirt, you're all, you always come in here wearing these pan can shirts, these purple shirts. Everybody has their name on it. Not him. He just says Roberta's husband. <laughs> Absolutely. And this shirt here comes from a very, very good friend of ours that actually had that specially made for me because... This is what I come to special events to show my wife the support that she needs. Wow. And I'm so glad that I'm able to do that. And it surely is a pleasure to be able to Well, do God that. love you. I'll jump out here. Tell us what we're talking about today. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. And if we have time later, we'll, we'll maybe let you in on how that whole thing even happened. But today, like Paul said, our special guest is my husband or my better half, I must say. And he is Pan Can's Orange County affiliates purple stride chair that's a mouthful and i was going to ask him to share what his shirt said but he's already done that so we'll just dive right in um today the topic i hope you guys will all find very interesting and fun it's one of my favorite things that we get to do every year so let's get going with this let's do it all right we're all excited that after two years purple stride is finally back in person we've been because of covid we've done a virtual last year and this year our dates changed so next year we will actually be live in person which we're very happy to do can you tell us what is purple stride first of all i want to say we are back okay we're back (laughs) after doing the virtuals uh it was a challenge i think we've learned from that we're going to try to incorporate what we've had in that knowledge that we've gained and express that PanCan's Purple Stride, it's PanCan's signature event to bring awareness and the number one PanCan raises money to fight pancreatic cancer. Oh, that's really amazing because the event itself is really amazing and I love doing it. You say that um, PanCan raises money to fight pancreatic cancer and, this, and Purple Stride is their number one way of doing that. How do funds raised by PanCan's Purple Stride fight pancreatic cancer? Well, what they do is this walk here, it's a, an annual walk. And uh, anything, it's a 5K walk, actually. And uh, all the funds and awareness that is brought to this event, it goes to scientific research, patient services, government advocacy, and community engagement. And just to clarify, I want people to know that patient services is something that is really a great service for patients and their families. And when you do contact them, everything that you get that you're sent is free of charge. So if you need the information, we'll be giving the website and the phone number out later. Please make sure to jot that down. And if you need it, please refer to that. What kind of an event is Purple Stride? You touched on it a little bit, but maybe you can go into a little bit more. Yeah, Pancan Purple Stride is a 5K walk, okay? People have asked us, okay, we can't do the 5K. Can we, can we do this? Can we do that? As far as we're concerned, bringing awareness is the most important thing. Without awareness, we can't express what this disease is and how horrific it can be. Certainly, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a 5K walk. If you can walk, bring a stroller, bring a wheelchair, we are friendly, bring a wagon, just join us. It's an event that we are going to be out there expressing the awareness of what we can do to improve what this disease needs to do, and that is to find an early detection. Right. And for those of you that are familiar with our Purple Strides, in the past we've had a timed walk run. This year, or I'm sorry, next year there will be no timed event there. It will just be a 5K walk. Who attends Purple Strides? Oh, great. That's something good to share because we, I'd love for everybody, not just certain individuals, certain people that are capable of doing it, but all the survivors, the families, Caregivers, researchers, supporters, they all come together to honor everyone affected by the disease. And I know sometimes we even have people that really don't have a connection, and those always touch me a little bit as well because I always wonder, why are they there? Have you ever, has anybody ever expressed to you that maybe didn't have a connection, why they're getting involved with, with it? I think possibly because maybe they have had some back 
exposure to, to something that they feel maybe strongly want to get involved to perhaps as, as grim and as sad as it sees us, maybe they feel that their contribution is helping progress the finding of how to put this disease to rest. Very true. Is it limited to age or can any age attend or what are the age groups that can attend Purple Stride? There are any the age groups. Everybody's welcomed. Children, we have a, a special place for them. We have a certain area where they are put where they can do experiments, uh, do scientific things, and that is put on by the Chapman uh, students and uh, and it's hosted by Dr. Melissa Roland Goldsmith and they've been very, very supportive in, in bringing the children to become involved in just being part of the event. It just lightens up the, the momentum. Yeah, it's been very nice. They've been involved with us since our first Purple Stride, which is in 2009. And she's brought her students. And, of course, every time it's different students a lot of the times because most of them have gone on to graduate. But it was been very unique, and especially last year because they did have to do this virtually. They still managed to come up with experiments for the kids to do, and it was a lot of fun to watch the kids doing. I think there was something like elephant bubbles or something, but it was really amazing to see what they went through. They also incorporated a little bit of COVID, why it was important to wash your hands with some experiment involving, uh, I think it was pepper or something. So they've always done a really great job, and we look forward to them coming back next year. And I'll extend a, a very, very big thank you to the students from Chapman University that's assisted us in the past few years. They've been really, really great, and that gives me an inspiration that they are actually involved in a scientific area where they are possibly going to, and we're hoping that they will go into a pancreatic research program. Well, I think what's amazing is talking with Dr. Goldsmith is a lot of her students have actually gone into either pancreatic cancer research, and some are going into surgery. Some are even going into, you know, different research in other areas, but she's had a great number of her students that have actually followed through with either research or surgery with pancreatic cancer. So and it's really great to see that. And right, and very inspirational to see that the youth still has a, a, a focus of the future for for trying to, again, find find a solution for this disease. Yeah, I I think we've been kind of fortunate because I know a lot of times people, I hear them say, you know, what is wrong with the youth of today? But I think we've been kind of fortunate because it seems like we've worked with a lot of youth of today that I see mm-hmm. nothing wrong with them. I'm very impressed and proud of the group of young people and college students and high school students that we've been able to work with. Have you noticed as, as well? Have you had that same experience? Absolutely. Just, uh, you know, e- even uh, people that have, uh, kids that have graduated, actually, you know, just to learn that they've actually We've had the privilege to meet a Rhodes Scholar, and that was very impressive that somebody from Chapman University under Dr. Melissa's Roland's uh, Goldsmith's direction mm-hmm. has become a, a Rhodes Scholar, and he's tremendously impressive. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't say the words that makes me feel proud that he got there. Yeah, I am too, and also proud because he did help us with our Purple Star, our Purple yes, Play he Zone. He was part of that that year, so been a unique experience to have them involved and like i said they've been involved with us since the very first purple stride so i'm really looking forward to them coming back next year we've had some changes with purple stride normally our purple stride is done in november for pancreatic cancer awareness month we've always picked that month to do our purple stride but pancan has gone through some changes and wanted to try something a little bit different and has actually now instead of us each picking our days to do purple stride we are all coming together on one day. So what day is it that we will be doing our Purple Stride? Okay. Nationally, we are going to get all the Purple Strides together to be placed in the event on the same day. And uh, that particular day is Saturday, April 30th, 2022. Orange County will join nearly 60 Purple Strides nationally on April 30th. I think that's going to be amazing. It's going to be the first time we've ever done anything like that or seen anything like that. From So you have all of California on the same day. You're going to have New York. You're going to have New Jersey. Everybody will all be on the same day. So it's going to be quite some growth, I think. Yes, and I hope that, you know, whatever exposure that we get from all these events, there will be the exposure of the purple, the purple that represents pancreatic cancer. And I hope that 
it generates questions. I hope it generates involvement of other people to get involved and make this even more stronger and uh, and hopefully find that we can further the advancement for finding the cure for this. I always think thought it was amazing when we would get together for our own individual Purple Stride and see that sea of purple. Oh, it just was, it's very fantastic. emotional. It's very, I mean, it, it can just, I mean, it always brought tears to my eyes. But now I'm thinking, can you imagine that times 60? That is huge. That's got to be something I hope we get to really see um, some good media coverage on that because I think it's going to be amazing to see one, but times 60, that's got to be, that's going to be awesome. That is going to be tremendous. Looking forward to it. (laughs) Do we know where our Purple Stride is going to be held? Yes. We're planning to have it at the beach. Yay. And the beach. (laughs) The beach, Bolsa Chica in Huntington Beach. So it's a little different for us because it is on the beach. But, you know, it doesn't matter where it's at. But I think just to be there, just to, to be in the openness of all this sound of the ocean. I can't find words to say it's going to be very, very looking forward to being there. I am too. And the beach is my, my, one of my favorite places. It's also my go-to place when I need to kind of go and recollect and just, you know, get myself back together again. I like to go. Also, just to tell everybody, make sure, you know, because we don't know what the weather will like, make sure and how long we'll be there. We hope you want to do the bonfires that we'll be able to do there, awesome. bring stuff so we can do some s'mores. That's always fun. But make sure you bring, you know, jackets or sweaters. Don't forget the sunscreen, hats, things like that, and, and join us out on our walk at oh, Bolsa Chica Bolsa. State Beach in Huntington Beach. There you go. And just to give a quick shout out for many years, and for all the years, actually, this is going to be our, our new venue for many years since 2009. We've been at William Mason Regional Park. Thank you for all that. In the past, you've been very supportive to us. And we would have, again, been at, at uh, William Mason Regional Park once again this year, but it seems that we outgrew it. And in order for us to continue the growth, we need to have an, a venue where we can extend past the participation levels that we've had at that park. And again, thank you for everything that you've done for us in the past. You continue to be part of us. We still visit the park in, individually or, or personally, but there are some very good supporters out there and thanks thank you once again yeah like i said they've been with us since day one and it was it was bittersweet to go and have our wrap-up meeting and and be told that you know we were too big they didn't think they'd be they wouldn't be able to accommodate us the following year which happened to be the year that COVID struck but again if you all are looking for a park someplace to go someplace to do a family event it's a beautiful park it's mason william regional park in irvine please be sure to check that out sometime now, as far as registration, what is the registration fee and how do we register? Okay. I'm glad you asked. Registration <laughs> this year, it's free. There is no fees to register. Come in, register. You can register at purplestride.org forward slash OC. You have the option of starting a, or joining a team or you can participate as an individual. Look us up. Come join us. Be part of us. Be part of the family that we want to grow. It's an awesome feeling to know that whatever time you have, how little it can be, is very well received, knowing that we're all going to work together or be together to to finally advance what it is that we need to bring this disease to rest. We need to find the early detection to be able to, 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 to say... We can live with it. We don't want to die from it. Very true. And not to bring anybody down, but it's been a really tough week. We've lost a few survivors this weekend, so it's been really tough. So this is something that I really look forward to, to reach out to other survivors and give them some hope and inspiration, and to also remember those ones that we have lost because they're just as important. Now, you mentioned that you have the option of starting or joining a team or doing yes. uh, participating as an individual. Now, if you happen to be working that day and can't get off, you can still do it virtually as well. So you just go online, and I believe there's a section there you can sign up for virtual Purple Stride. You can join a team, but then you can walk it whenever you can and wherever you can. So if 
you work that day, it's no excuse not to participate. Mm -hmm. You can still do it because you can become a virtual participant. So we'd really love to see that as well, though. We love seeing everybody out there, but there's no excuse not to participate. (laughs) It all depends on every one of you. You're all appreciated. Let's blow this thing out of the park. Actually, let's blow it out of the beach. Let's blow it out of the water. Right, that too, I guess. (laughs) Now, I know that sponsors are important as well, so we need to get some sponsors. If someone is interested in being a sponsor, what should they do? They can send me an email to events at pancan.org. They will be contacted regarding sponsorship levels and the benefits that are available. It's a good feeling to know that if you're able to, the littlest amount, just the fact that you can become involved, is going to be a big, big stride for us. So please, look us up. Once again, it's events at pancan.org. And looking forward to seeing all these emails come to me. <laughs> yeah, and there are different sponsorship levels. So, I mean, even as little as 1500 So don't let that stop you. If you're no. interested, get your companies involved, and let's get some more sponsors out there. And I just want to pay a quick tribute to our premier sponsor, which is Carol Kulak. And we're very thankful to have her. She passed away a few years ago from pancreatic cancer, and she was a wonderful woman, and her daughter's her family started this um, for her. So we're really happy to have them continue. I also assume you need volunteers. How does someone go about volunteering? Volunteers can register at purplestrike.org forward slash OC. That will connect you to our volunteer chair, and they will contact you once they get all the information that you're inquiring about and give you other details on how to proceed with getting you engaged with us. And you volunteers are very, very highly appreciated. And for those that are willing and able and are going to volunteer thank you in advance for that yes our volunteers are very important and i i promise you'll have a a great time when you come out so please consider joining us as a volunteer that day what other information can you share with us i know we have a kind of a promotion that's going on right now and it's only from today like till i think it's october 6th can you just give us a little information on that yes promotion right now something new that uh, obviously it's uh it's a, a walk and certainly to be able to, to show your expression of being out there, the awareness that you can bring. If you raise $25, you will be given a limited edition of Purple Stride shoelaces. And they are a special edition, a limited edition from Pancan. And you can wear them on April 30th. You know, bring it out. They're a limited edition. They really look nice. And it, it, it would really dress your shoes up to be able to get you to put them on and do the walk for us. That'd be great to see all those shoelaces on April 30th. And you yeah. have a couple other things um, as far as incentives? Yes. Uh, so first, if you can, again, registration is free, $25. Raise $25, you'll get the limited edition of uh, PanCan's Purple Stripe Shoelaces. To register and raise $50 for PanCan, a Purple Stripe event t-shirt would be earned. Register and raise $1,000 or more and become a Grand Club member and a special gift. You will really like this gift that you're going to get. I don't want to say what it is at this point, but it is. Can you help me out on this? I believe it's... Uh, well, I haven't seen it yet. I, I thought it was a sweatshirt, but I'm not 100% sure. So a sweatshirt, a jacket, but it's very, very <laughs> it's nice. It's something, yeah. <laughs> very, very there nice. There you go. There you go. Okay, but it is a special Grand Gift. Yeah. and. We've seen them in the past. We've had people, we've large participants that have earned them, and all the positive things that we've heard of them being able to to get this by participating in the Grand Club. And looking forward to increasing our numbers this year as well. Yeah, I, and just real quick, um, we also acknowledge our top teams and top fundraisers. I'm not sure how we're doing that this year, but that is something we do every year and we'll continue. We also have a survivor area where survivors can meet each other and share their journey. We'll have a Path of Heroes. Can you tell us a little bit about that Path of Heroes? Yes, Path of Heroes. It's a it's a bittersweet to honor and to remember those that have been affected by pancreatic cancer. We ask that they send us a picture, 8 by 10 and a, a little bio. And what we do, we post these all along a path, and everybody's important. Those that have passed away, and we want to remember them. Those that are fighting it today, and we want to be alongside them to know that we support them. And all those caregivers that have 
participated in it will share the enormous emotions by seeing all these heroes that we've had. We had originally, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, our first purpose right, we may have had less than 50. Now we're over 150. And uh, Better Street, we don't want to increase these numbers because now it's knowing that we've lost so many people to this disease. But it's still important that we have to bring them up and let them know why they are there. They're not a statistic. They are definitely people that we love, cherish, and continue to support. And they inspire us. And we also do put survivors on there as well. It's just unfortunately it tends to be more those people that we've lost than than that. Yes. So if you can email us at purplestride.org forward slash Orange County and find us at the Purple Stride near you. And if you can't find us there and you want to, if you're from a different area perhaps, go to purplestride.org and go to any Purple Stride and participate. And certainly we want to increase our numbers in Orange County. So if you're listening and you you have the time, you you have the means and ways to be able to, to help us, bring awareness to the disease. We need to find the cure. We need to find the early detection that's going to get this behind us to a point where we can say we can live with it rather than to die from it. Very well said, and thank you very much. And I just want to also say Purple Stride is a fun event, so please come out. We invite you to come out and join us. Again, you can register at purplestride.org slash OC. If you're not in the Orange County area, then just go to purplestride.org, put in your area, and they'll find you a Purple Stride. We hope that you will join us on April 30th, 30th. 2022. And do you want to say the new tagline we have? Yes. Okay. It is taking steps together to end pancreatic cancer. Let's take that first step. It's always the hardest. But you know what? The second step comes a little lighter. And many steps become even less as long as we continue to go forward in the steps to end this disease. Yes. Please join us. Thank you. Yes, please join us April 30th, 2022 with your shoelaces <laughs> and don't and forget the sunscreen and everything to protect, but we're looking forward to seeing you out there. So thank you. Looking forward to seeing you and taking those steps together to end pancreatic cancer. Let's increase this purple for what it is. Well, there you have it. One more reason to tune in. To Living Hope, a weekly journey designed to provide hope, inspiration, and education for those living with pancreatic cancer, and sometimes a way to walk with them, sharing the real-life stories of those really affected by this disease and how they deal with it on a daily basis. If you'd like to join the event, just check out all the sites we gave you, and if you need more information or you know somebody that needs help right now, there is a number, 877, the number 2, PANCAN. That's 877, the number 2, P-A-N-C-A-N, for the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. For Paul Roberts and the OC Talk Radio Network, thanks for listening. Join us again as we all walk the journey, living hope.